Today we're going to replace the AOS. It's the air oil separator. I had noticed I was I was getting a little bit of, a little bit extra smoke, and I think it's the bladder inside here is torn. Uh, there's a couple of other indicators. It looked like I had lost about a half a quart of oil because uh, all my gauge it went all the way down to to, the, to nothing. And also my uh, my O2 sensor uh, error code kept showing up on my dashboard. I'm thinking it's coming down to this thing here. So if we're going to remove this uh, today. It shouldn't be too difficult of a job. I have a feeling these lines are filled up with oil. Not filled up, but they're they're lined thickly with oil. Um, and I also noticed here when the car was running, if you pull your oil cap, you'll have a pretty good vacuum when when you're trying to pull it off, it'll <coughs> suck it back in. Learn your car, that's one thing I'm doing with this vehicle, learning my vehicle, what, what it's supposed to sound like and what it's not supposed to sound like. And these are just things I guess you just have to learn along the way. So that's it. I'm going to replace this today and we'll go through the steps. So I got a catch can. I don't know how much oil is going to drop down below here, but I obviously do not want it on my garage floor. So we're going to put this up underneath here. Nope, I nailed it perfectly. So first thing we're going to do is pull off this device here. This is the air going back up into the air intake system. This is where the, the, the good air that has been separated out of the oil is supposed to come up in here and the, the natural vacuum of the air coming into the intake. Uh, helps pull that air as I understand it So I just broke the cliff right here That's great Looks like it was glued back on before look at this it's like a little glue spot So I'm probably not the only one that has uh, broken this luckily. I do have some pretty good stuff. It's called super glue um, So I was trying to pull this off here it's being a bit of a pain, like it's supposed to be, I guess. Always a pain. So I don't know how I'm supposed to get into there. Also, a really quick note for you guys. Um, the AOS never has a specific time when it can go out. Uh, we've probably put just about 800 miles on the car and, and we're 99% sure it's the AOS that's gone out. You might have your car for 800 miles. You might have your car for 80,000 miles. Uh, these can go out basically however, whenever. So. It's not necessarily something you can plan for. Okay, so this is one of the tubes coming off the uh, air oil separator. Goes right into here. You see these little grooves inside the plastic right there? Those little grooves are pinch points. You have one on this side and one on the back side. What you want to do is pinch those grooves. Sometimes it takes two hands. All right, let's try this again. Got it, okay. So we'll look inside of here and I can see already there's a ton of oil. I don't know if you can get in there or not. I'm gonna keep recording, I'll just do this here. That is fresh oil getting shot right into there. So you're gonna have two, two nuts so it's just, it's just like, excuse me, it's just like this. You're gonna have a screw there, I mean, and then on this side of it, you're gonna have a screw over here, so it's gonna sit like so. So we kinda need to find that same bolt pattern on the old one. So there is, there we go. There is one, the other one is right there. Sneaky hiding back there. There we go. Good shot of it for you. So that's the second uh, screw bolt we need to take out. Then the very bottom here, you gotta see a hose. My camera in there. There, right there, is the hose that's connected on the bottom. 
It's tinted by like a compression clamp. So we're gonna need to take that off so we can pop that. I have a new uh, L hose to go in there. I figured I might as well just put a new one in while I'm at it. Okay, so I finally got this out. I was, I was having a very difficult time getting this off, so I decided to take off the other two hoses. This bottom feeder tube really is not as bad as I thought. I got a pair of uh, pliers. I had to crawl up underneath there to kind of get my arm in there a certain way, but it doesn't take much pressure to release that, pull it off. So we're going to replace this hose as well. And uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of oil pretty much anywhere. So I'm wondering if it's just fine or what the deal is. I was able to pull off this hose and there is quite a bit of oil inside of here. You can't really tell on the glove, but that's pretty thick there. Pretty greasy. So, and also if you look inside this tube here, it's pretty bad. So hopefully this is our problem. If this is our problem, it's an easy fix. That's what the AOS goes on top of. That hose right here, that one, oh well, you see, that goes on the other side of the AOS. We'll snap that back in. Get some things cleaned up down there. That little metal hose right there, that uh, little metal fitting, that right there. That metal fitting is what the bottom of the AOS connects to, which is a little hard to get to that uh, compression clamp but you'll figure it out. Clean, this, clean the top of this off. Just make sure you don't get any dirt that falls in there because that's going into your crankcase. Okay, so I'm just gonna use some gasket dressing and sealant just to put it around here. Just helps extend the life of the gasket and it gives you a good seat down into it. Now what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to put the AOS down in there and then I'm gonna put this pipe on that little fitting that I showed you earlier put this compression clamp, move this up, and we will have that put on. While I'm putting this in there though, I should say this first, the hose that goes on here, I'm gonna put that back on there first as I put this in, then I'm gonna slide this uh, return hose on. There's a bracket down here that you have to like kind of bend like at an angle to get underneath it. I had forgotten about it. I started this deal and I should have paid more attention. But it's a real pain. AOS is in. Uh, quite honestly, this is the easiest job I've done in the car so far. If I wasn't filming and doing other things, I would probably would have this done in about, at the most, 30 minutes. Uh, it took us about an hour, uh, but it was it was simple. Now you gotta remember I've put in a new high flow air intake and put in cables for the uh, for the shifter, uh, put in a short shifter. Entire new exhaust system. Exhaust system, we, we've done a lot on this car and replacing this thing was a piece of cake. You kind of have to work it, work, self, work your hands in there a little bit to get to a couple, uh, to, to one of the screws. And I think the hardest part is just that compression clamp they have down, down low there, but you can reach your arm up inside around a couple of corners, you're just gonna have to kind of play with it. it. It would be very difficult for me to describe it to you or even show it to you on video. It's one of those things where if you work on a car, you learn to work your way around uh, metal and frame and everything else. So besides that, uh, we're gonna fire it up and we should probably still get a little bit of smoke. Um, that's normal. Tricks and tips or anything else, you need some help, just leave comments down below, ask your questions. I'll be more than happy to uh, let you know what I know and hopefully make your job easier as well too. And that, that is beautiful. <laughs>